Hello lovelies! Welcome to Pagecraft. I'm Paige and this is a new Aurora unboxing. Now if you've been around on my channel before you will know that one of my main goals of this year is to moderate my purchases. So I'm, I'm allowing myself a maximum of two new canvases per month and this Aurora a canvas over there was one of my purchases for last month. But that's not the only reason I'm excited today, because I re really am excited today. I also need your thoughts towards the end of the video on a little conundrum I have going regarding this kit. But for now, you will already know what kit I'm about to unbox. But I still want to show you regardless. But before I do that, I just want to show you the box it came in. So, nice enough box, but there's been a bit of water damage happening on it. And, unfortunately, it has somehow gone through the plastic. So I'm uh, extra curious to see what's going on in here today, because... Uh, this is the first time I've had a waterlogged kit. As you can see, it's completely soft and it's been uh, lying here, opened like this for two days now. So, but what are we unboxing today? Well, let me keep you in suspense no longer. What we have here is an Orlo, as I said, and it is. <gasps> yes, it's. Conciel oh my goodness, okay. Concierge de Tops, or Time Advisor in English, by law, Felipon version 2. And if you've been around on my channel for a little while, you will have seen this kit before, here. And you will have heard me talk about wanting to get this in the version 2 as well. And now, oh, it's finally here. <laughs> it's finally happening. I saw it was restocked. Um, I may or may not have been like refreshing the site constantly. And I jumped on it the minute it got back in stock. Because I already own a version 1 of this particular uh, artwork. But I love it so much that I basically want it in a version 2 as well because I'm going to get back to that towards the end of the video, okay? Because <laughs> that is part of why I need your thoughts towards the end. But for now, they have definitely upgraded the box itself. So we have the branding on the top here. And it's the top that's waterlogged. Um, then we have here in French as well. And that, I'm going to guess, is Spanish. Do let me know if uh, I was on point there. Premium diamond painting canvas set. Look at this cool turtle. Uh, happiness guarantee. Um, yeah, cotton canvas. I am loving this new box, though. So here we have instructions on the back. Let me show you more properly. In reverse order because I'm a rebel I guess <laughs> so instructions on the back let your creativity oh goodness let your creativity sparkle this is a heavy box that's why I'm kind of struggling a little bit here I'm so curious to see what's inside it, one of the heavier I've had and uh, okay, there's a barcode in the way, but there's a thumbnail here on the top as well. But I love that they do this. I had I have a, another unboxing on my channel where they also did this. <laughs> um, and it makes uh, it makes it way easier to pick out the right kit um, from your stash. Anyways, let's take the plastic off and see what the situation is in here. Because, as I said, it's completely soft. Which is a pity because the box, I really love the box, so I hope I can still use it. But 
Okay, I just want to be clear that it's most likely not fair to blame Aroloa for the waterlogged situation. Um, I'm gonna give them some feedback about it, but it's most likely a shipping oopsie, <laughs> if anything. Um, but I'm fascinated that it somehow got through the plastic. So, I'll let them out know about it. Okay, so we are gonna dig into the box. It's almost falling apart, you know, wet cardboard does that. It's moist, it's still moist in here. <laughs> I'm sorry for the detail, but I think it's going to be fine, most likely. This does come in quite a sturdy dust cover, which is also plastic, but it does has um, it does have some. Uh, how do you say that? It does have. It has some holes for ventilation. <laughs> okay, so box is empty. Let us open the dust bag and see what's going on. The dust bag does appear to be marked or labeled with some kind of kit number and connection. Okay, so far I think the kit is fine, despite the water, but we'll see, we'll see once we open it. Okay, so, oh, here's our drill sausage, oh, we have pre-bagged drills. And here's our tool kits. Ooh. Oh my, oh, I almost, I'm sorry, I almost peeked. I'm gonna do it together with you, don't worry. Oh, but here is that. I'm just fishing out this. I didn't peek, I promise. <laughs> okay, so. Before we peek at the canvas and before we look at the drills, these lovely drills, let us take a look at the toolkit. I'm just going to jump it up here. Oh, oh my! Check out this color of tweezers. <laughs> Sorry about that. We had a brief moment of refocusing. But check out these colors of tweezers. I don't mind if I do. They seem very, very similar to the Craftably to tweezers uh, that I got with my Craftably pre orders. But you will also, of course, get a pen to diamond paint with, and you'll get a multiplacer, which is one of the thick kinds. There's already one uh, on the end of your pen. So you can use these if you want to place more than one diamond at a time. And here is a squishy for comfort. Now you put this on your pen. I do recommend using it. It prevents your hand from cramping up. And then we are getting blue wax with three pieces of wax. And uh, this wax does have some plastic on it that you have to peel back before you use it. Let's just put them back in here. Like so. And then we have our Masfa boat. Your very basic tray. And some branded Oroloa washi. Check 
this out. Now that's new, this is the last time I saw this. And the last time I unboxed an Oraloa, they had this like Ziploc bag with goodies in it. So it seems like we're getting washy instead now. Very nice. So that is our toolkit. So what we are going to do next is take a look at the canvas itself. And I can barely contain myself, but yes, we are going to take a look at the, the canvas itself and then we will look at our drills or some of the drills at least because it depends on how much I trust myself with ruining this beautiful packing job. Uh, but the drills are next and then we will look for the placement of our special drills. And then towards the very end, I am going to ask for your thoughts on a subject matter on my mind. Okay, here we are for the canvas reveal part of the video. Oh, are you ready? I can barely even right now. So what I'm doing now is I'm simply rolling the canvas back. This will help it lay. Uh, flat faster and uh, since this is a port glue canvas you can safely do that do not do that with double sided adhesive it will mess things up <sighs> okay are you ready <laughs> oh, okay here she comes oh my goodness okay yeah you can can't see anything I'm gonna take you into wide angle you can see her mouth. Oh, oh, I'm so fascinated. I definitely need to do a comparison. Ooh, okay. Deep breaths, Paige. Deep breaths. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to put you into wide angle so you can see properly. Okay, I have to admit I skipped the wide angle because it does sometimes distort the image a tiny bit. But look at this absolute beauty. I do apologize for the lighting situation, but it is the afternoon here in Norway. But look at the rendering! Look at the rendering! So as I said, I own uh, this already as the version 1. And the difference, um, the difference in the two canvases is noticeable to say the least. So if you are as nerdy as me about time and painting, um, I will do a comparison video of the two versions at a later point because I simply do not have time today unfortunately to film that. Oh goodness, okay let's pan over this a little bit. I'll uh, talk a bit about the details of the canvas and we'll oh my god I can't I can't with this I can't with this artwork with artwork I am oh my goodness I love it okay so we're going to just take a look at the details of the canvas I did forget to mention that this is a square canvas and you can uh, choose if you want squares or rounds oh it's so beautiful oh my goodness okay so we have poked and frayed edges Poked and frayed page, poked and scalloped edges to prevent fraying. And then we have our dimensions. Small logo there. Whoops. And small one here. And then we have a legend at the top. Or a low island art. Tiny, tiny thumbnail with the artist and the title. This is all legally licensed. By the way, oh my god, and then we have a legend at the end here, and then if you remember, this is the same number as the dust bag was labeled with. Okay, and let's look at the drill field then while we're here, because this is one clear drill field, and I love the grid here. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun to work on. Check out the grid lines. Check out the clarity of the symbols. 
the symbols are a good variety of alphanumerical and, well, symbols. Yes, it's crystal clear. Absolutely crystal clear. And as far as color blocking versus confetti goes, we have a mix of both in this canvas. Um, but the background is not one solid color. We have patches of color blocking in the background. Hopefully you'll be able to pick it up, even though I am doing this handheld. <laughs> We have patches of color blocking, and that means, you know, blocks of one color. And then the hair is one fine confetti situation. I love the rendering. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what this will look like done. It is giving steam panty vibes. And look at her eyes. And look at our owl hair. Uh, as I've said before, if you've been around on my channel, I have named him Mr. Dapper Boy. And he is even more dapper in this version. Then we have, our, of course, our timepiece. Look at his tiny claws! A lot of confetti. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. Yes, taking a deep breath. Yeah, the rest of the canvas is just confetti city, basically. <laughs> but it makes sense with the artwork. Oh, goodness me. One last look before we bring out the drill bag for our next portion of the video. And then we will look for the AB placement towards the end. And then I will have to pick your brain a bit as we wrap up the video. Okay, we are back for the drills portion of the video and one upgrade I appreciate so much uh, that Aurelo has done with their kids is pre-cut stickers. And here we you also have this. This is a sticker as well. You have the artwork again, the dimensions, you know your information. Again, the number, but my main point was these pre-cut stickers. This makes cutting up so much easier. Simply peel these off and put, stick them on your containers of choice. And this particular kit does have 50 colors and four ABs. Mm -hmm. And here we can see the color spread. I do appreciate that this is uh, pre-bagged because uh, it just makes uh, storing any extra drills really easy. I, when this this many colors, I do prefer kitting up into containers, but this will make it easy to just, you know, pour in whatever amount into the containers. Yes. And then I'll just, you know, store the rest. Uh, I am hesitant to ruin this beautiful packing job, but you can certainly get a good impression of the uh, color spread, as I said. And I can tell you, the camera, yes, there we go. I can tell you that uh, I immediately see a vast improvement uh, in the drills compared to my version 1 kit. And then we have our ABs towards the end, and I'm going to take those out and show it to you. But once I get to film that comparison video, I am going to show you the difference in the drills. Because I promise you, it's quite no noticeable. Here we have our special drills, our ABs. And if you are unfamiliar, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it refers to the Northern Lights. And it refers more in particular to the coating on the drills. As you can see, it's this iridescent sparkly situation. 
and that does make for a really lovely highlighting effect on the canvas. And these drills are numbered, or the bags rather, are numbered uh, according to the legend. And this is also part of why I just simply didn't take everything out of the bag, because that would just mess things up greatly and make uh, life a bit of a pain when kitting up, frankly. <laughs> Um, but we have this lovely, what do we call this, mint colored uh, AB and then we have a white AB and they are so sparkly, super sparkly ABs, love them. Then we have this orange AB, I'm guessing this goes in her hair, but we'll see, super sparkly. And then a yellow AB. So, if I recall, co <laughs> if I recall correctly, the version 1 kit had two ABs and I don't even think they were the same. But again, I want to, for my own nerdy pleasure, do a comparison video and we'll take a closer look at them. But for now, we are going to move into the last part of the video. Oops. We're going to move into the last part of the video and we are going to check and see where will we find these ABs on the canvas. Okay, I've had a bit of a look and let's start with the orange AB. Now this is placed as I suspected in uh, our lady hair's hair <laughs> um, and it's just sprinkled. Just a really lovely highlighting effect, it seems like here. And there's a patch of it up here. I'll put it here. So the orange one goes into her hair um, and it follows some of her highlights. I'll put it down pull it down a bit. So you'll find it here, here, and just a tiny bit down here. And then we can go straight on to the yellow one. Now this we will find mostly right up here with our Dapper Boys glasses. But it is also sprinkled slightly in her eyes. And we will find, I believe we'll find like a tiny, tiny bit in her hair as well. I had to double check, <laughs> but I found like two down here, <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that we'll mainly find it uh, in the metal, basically, and a tiny bit in her eyes. So that, the, 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 that's those, <laughs> that's those, top tier English there. Uh, anyways, we can move on to our white AB and the white AB. We will find a little bit of it in her eyes again. We will find a little bit on the timepiece. But we will mostly find it on Dapper Boy. He's gonna be dapper for reals. <laughs> oh my god. He is certainly going to be dapper with... Oh, I can't with the pens. I'm sorry. No, but he is going to be one sparkly boy. That brings us on to our minty AB here, which is also for our owl friend here. And they are both sprinkled. But I am so curious to see the effect once he's done. I want to start it immediately and I'm struggling, which kind of brings me up to the very last part of the video. So to sum it up, this is version 2 of Time Advisor by Lo Felipon from Oraloa. It's 81 by 54 centimeters square canvas. It has 50 colors and 4 ABs that we just, you know, searched for here. And I do also already own this text. I own the version 1 and that version 1 is part of my WIPS 
from last year. So if you're new here, one of my main goals this year is to finish five whips from last year because I have gotten myself into a whippy situation, as I call it. There is a whip parade of the candidates for my goal um, that I can link down below. But basically, the version one, I barely started it. I made like a one square up there somewhere. <laughs> um, and now I'm just really debating, would it be above board of me? to kind of trade or swap out that version one for this canvas. In that case, I think I basically kind of delete one of my whips from last year because it would technically be a new start this year. But I need your thoughts. Do you think I should keep the version one and complete it to get, you know, a credit for my whip goal this year? Or would it be fair of me to kind of, you know, put the version one away and focus on this one? I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm cheating, <laughs> basically, as far as, you know, I had so many whips from last year and I have, you know, made, a, made it a goal to complete quite a few of them this year. Anyways. Leave your thoughts down below if you want to chime in on the whole situation here or if you just want to, you know, gush about the canvas or let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, but regardless of all that, thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, do consider giving it a thumbs up before you head out. That does tell you to, to spread the video across the wind. Um, but anyways, again, thank you for watching and until next time, I wish you well and happy crafting. Bye bye!